What if the unseen, the obscure, the forgotten were more real than your deepest nightmares? Imagine a world beyond our own, where hidden figures lurk in the shadows, obscured by the veil of the unknown. It's a realm where the forgotten are not simply lost, but instead reside, waiting for their stories to be told. In this world, there exists a figure of such chilling terror, of such profound mystery, that even to whisper her name is to invite dread. She is the Pale Lady, a spectre shrouded in mystery. Her story is one that weaves together the threads of fear and fascination, creating a tapestry of horror that will unsettle even the bravest amongst us. This is not a tale for the faint-hearted. It's a journey into the heart of darkness, a descent into the realms of the unseen, the obscure. So steal your nerves and open your mind. Step into the darkness, for the tale of the Pale Lady awaits. In the shadows, she lurks, a figure pale as moonlight, cold as the deepest winter. The Pale Lady, she is an enigma, an entity that exists on the fringes of our understanding, cloaked in the shadows of the obscure. Who is this Pale Lady, you may ask? She is a phantom, a spectre that haunts the darkest corners of our fear. Her form is ethereal, a ghostly semblance of a woman, yet her presence is as real as the chills running down your spine. Her skin is as white as porcelain, devoid of any warmth or color, as if life itself has abandoned her. Her eyes, oh her eyes, they are voids, black and bottomless, that gaze into your very soul. Her attire is as timeless as her existence. She dons a long, flowing gown, as white as her skin, that seems to float around her giving her an almost spectral aura. Her hair, as black as a raven's wing, cascades down her back, providing a stark contrast to her pallor. She is silent, oh, so silent, yet her presence echoes loudly in the silence of the night. She does not speak, but her silence speaks volumes. It's as if she carries the weight of centuries of sorrow and despair. A single glance from her is enough to freeze the blood in your veins, to make your heart pound with fear. The Pale Lady does not belong to our world. Her existence is a mystery, a puzzle that defies our understanding of reality. She's not bound by the laws of nature. She's a paradox, a contradiction that challenges our perception of the known and the unknown. She is a haunting presence, a constant reminder of our deepest, darkest fears. She is a symbol of the unknown, the unexplained, the inexplicable, she is a testament to the existence of the supernatural, the paranormal, the otherworldly. She is neither a myth nor a legend, but a horrifying reality. The Pale Lady exists, not in our world, but in the shadows, lurking, waiting, watching. Her presence, a chilling whisper in the dark, her touch, a freezing kiss of death. We've heard whispers of the Pale Lady's existence, but the chilling reality of her presence has been felt by few. Her haunting is not of a typical kind, for she does not tether herself to a single location or object. Instead, she chooses her victims, latching onto their dreams and turning them into nightmares. The first incident attributed to the Pale Lady involves a man named Thomas. A skeptic by nature, Thomas dismissed the tales about the Pale Lady as mere superstition. But one night, he woke up drenched in sweat, paralyzed by fear. He spoke of a dream where he was trapped in a foggy landscape, a bone-chilling cold gripping him. Out of the mist, the pale lady emerged, her face ghastly white, her eyes hollow pits of despair. He awoke with a fright, but the image of the pale lady never left him. His nights were filled with recurring nightmares, his days with unshakable dread. Then there was Sarah, a woman known for her courage and resilience. She laughed off the pale lady's legend but her laughter soon turned into silent terror. Sarah started seeing the pale lady in her dreams, feeling her icy touch, hearing her mournful whispers. She couldn't escape the pale lady, no matter where she went or how hard she tried. These are just two among countless stories, each one more spine-tingling than the last. What's striking is the consistency across these experiences. The pale lady appears in dreams, her icy touch a reminder of her presence even after the dream has ended. And the fear she instills, it's not fleeting. It lingers, it festers, it haunts. The Pale Lady is not your conventional ghost. She does not haunt old mansions or decrepit graveyards. She does not lurk in shadows or creaky attics. 
She is far more insidious. She does not haunt places. She haunts dreams. Many have seen her. Many have felt her. But few have lived to tell the tale. It's a chilling reality that the Pale Lady is not just a figment of imagination, a myth spun from the threads of folklore, but a terrifying entity that has left an indelible mark on those who have encountered her. Each account is a testament to the terror she instills, a chilling echo of her haunting presence. One such story comes from a man in his mid-thirties, a skeptic until the fateful night he crossed paths with the Pale Lady. He recounts the bone-chilling cold that descended upon him, the eerie silence that filled the air, and the spectral figure of a woman, so pale she seemed to glow in the moonlight. He claims he was paralyzed, not by fear, but by an unseen force, as he watched her float towards him. The memory of her blood-curdling scream still haunts his dreams. Another account comes from an elderly woman who lived alone in a remote farmhouse. She speaks of the Pale Lady with a fear that makes her voice tremble, even after all these years. She tells of a night when she was awakened by a soft wailing sound. Rising from her bed, she saw the Pale Lady standing at the foot of her staircase, her eyes hollow and her mouth twisted in a silent scream. And then there's the tale of a group of teenagers who dared each other to venture into the woods at night. They believed they were invincible, armed with their youthful bravado. But their laughter soon turned to screams when they saw her, the pale lady, gliding between the trees, her ethereal figure glowing against the inky darkness. These are but a few of the many encounters with the pale lady. Each one is as chilling as it is real. These are not mere stories, but true accounts of encounters with an entity that defies explanation. They serve as a chilling reminder of the pale lady's existence, her power and the fear she instills. She is a reminder of the unknown, the unseen, the unspoken. The fear of the Pale Lady does not end with the break of dawn. It lingers. It haunts. This fear isn't the fleeting kind that dissipates with the morning light, or the kind you can shake off with a brave smile. It's the kind that seeps into your very soul, the kind that changes you. Imagine waking up one day, going about your usual routine, only to be confronted by the Pale Lady. Her icy touch, those lifeless eyes, the chilling aura that engulfs her, a sight that's enough to make the bravest of hearts quiver in fear. And when she disappears, she doesn't leave you untouched. She leaves behind a part of her, a lasting imprint of fear that alters the core of your being. This is not the kind of fear that can be easily brushed off. It's not a fear that you can confide in your friends about over a cup of coffee. It's a fear that follows you around lurking in the shadows, whispering in your ear when you're alone. It's a fear that makes you question your sanity, your reality. It's a fear that leaves you feeling helpless, vulnerable, and utterly alone. Those who have encountered the Pale Lady are never the same. They live their lives in constant apprehension, looking over their shoulders, afraid of what might be lurking in the shadows. They are tormented by nightmares, their sleep plagued by the haunting image of the Pale Lady, they lose their appetite, their interest in life, their zest for living. They become mere shells of their former selves, their lives dictated by the fear of the Pale Lady. This is the lasting impact of the Pale Lady. She doesn't just scare you, she alters you. She instills a fear so deep, so profound, that it changes the very fabric of your existence. She doesn't just haunt your dreams, she haunts your reality. She is not a ghost, she is a reality. Who is she? Why does she haunt? The answers remain as elusive as the lady herself. This spectral figure, known only as the Pale Lady, has left an indelible imprint on the minds of those who claim to have encountered her. But what is her purpose? Is she a lost soul trapped in a perpetual state of unrest? Or perhaps a malevolent entity drawn to the living energy of the human world? Could she be a manifestation of our collective fears? A chilling embodiment of the unknown that lurks in the shadows of our subconscious. Or maybe, she's just an eerie tale, spun by the imaginative minds to feed our insatiable curiosity for the supernatural. There's a certain allure in not knowing, in the unsettling mystery that perpetually shrouds the Pale Lady. In the end, the Pale Lady...